What is up everybody? Welcome back to yet another video on the channel. My name is Dan and our X2 Shoes and today we have a lovely new gaming update video for the month of April. In today's video we're going to be going over all the amazing releases you're going to need to know and that you're going to want to hear about coming this April and April is an especially amazing month because it's my birthday. We have lots to talk about in today's video, lots of new games coming up so make sure you sit back, grab yourself a nice drink and let's get into it. But before we do that, everybody, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel below if you want to keep up with some amazing gaming news and cool releases and all that good stuff. And if you really think we earn it in today's video, please do leave a like on the video as well. It helps us out a ton. And make sure you tell us your favorite releases of April down in the comments below. So coming in at number one is Major League Baseball The Show 2022. Releasing on April 1st on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. Baseball fans will know what to expect with this one, your yearly release that's always fantastic and packed full of all the latest and greatest things you're gonna need to know in the baseball world. Me, I'm Irish, so I don't particularly know what baseball is, but I think it's cool and it has bats and uh, lots of hot dogs and cheering. MLB 22 will see a whole new range of commentary team as well as online co-op also coming to the game as well. If you're a fan of the MLB games, you're gonna love this one because it's chock full of all the features you know and love as well as brand new ones as well. Gameplay looks smoother than ever, graphics look fantastic and you can catch it on April 1st. Coming in at number two is Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Releasing on the 5th of April on Windows PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and 5 and Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. The Lego Star Wars games are nothing new at this point. You know them, you love them them they are the funnest things in the world and always absolutely hilarious in this game you're going to play through some of the pivotal points in the star wars franchise as both anakin and luke skywalker incredible voice acting and a lot to do and a lot of variety in the gameplay as well in this one chock full of laughs and just amazing nostalgia check out lego star wars when it drops on april 5th at number three we have chrono cross the radical dreamers edition releasing on the 7th of April on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PC, and Xbox One. This remaster of this absolute JRPG classic was rumored for months with Square Enix finally confirming it recently at a Nintendo Direct. As you can expect with most remasters, the game has been completely overhauled visually, but there's also some mechanic overhauls as well. Namely, this remaster is gonna give its players the ability to alter combat as they might see fit. They can speed up certain battles or continue with just the stories or turn off enemy encounter altogether. If you are a fan of the original Chrono Cross, you are gonna absolutely love this completely remastered for your entertainment and enjoyment and it's going to be a lovely lovely game also on top of all this the game also includes an english language version of radical dreamers which is a text adventure game that has a narrative that ties to chrono cross originally this was only available in japan but now it is available in english and ready for you to play and next up we have moto gp 2022 releasing on the 21st of april on ps4 ps5 xbox one xbox series x and s switch and pc another release this month that some of you may be familiar with already if you've played the previous moto gp games and if you have you should be absolutely just as excited for this one firstly this game looks absolutely absolutely incredible and I've seen footage from it and at times I was like is this even a game? Racing Sims can be a bit hit and miss for me but this one actually looks incredible. MotoGP will feature over 120 new riders and all the heroes of the 2022 season and more than 70 historical riders to enjoy the most complete racing experience with. There's also over 20 of the official racing tracks that have been enhanced and detailed with circuits and pits and all that kind of stuff to improve simulation. All the classes and rosters are available to grow your career throughout the game and the game has also a more real than ever feel with new improved physics and mechanics to make this really a true MotoGP racing simulation experience. And finally on our list of releases we have The Serpent Rogue. Releasing on the 26th of April on the Switch, Xbox Series X and S, PC and PlayStation 5. Personally, this is the game that I'm most excited for on this list. The Serpent Rogue is an action adventure, medieval fantasy game with one of the most original art styles I think I've ever seen. The game is built around exploring a medieval fantasy world, mastering the art of alchemy and taming wild creatures. I cannot overstate how much I'm in love with the art style of this game. I think Borderlands meets Diablo meets maybe old school RuneScape looking kind of gameplay. It looks really, really, really nice. Menu system and the crafting system looks absolutely amazing as well. And there's sure to be plenty to do in this open world adventure. I can't wait to dump some hours into this game and I'm sure it's going to be absolutely amazing come the 26th of April. Now that we have the releases out of the way, now it's time for some wonderful and amazing gaming news to keep you all up to date and informed. First thing we need to talk about is the Hogwarts Legacy State of Play. Everyone on the internet and all over Twitter have been raving about this since it happened and from this event we saw 14 minutes of an in-depth look into Hogwarts Legacy revealed as well as plenty of gameplay. To no one's surprise this game looks absolutely incredible and I think the open world 
aspect of this Wizarding World experience is going to really make fans of Harry Potter and fans of the Wizarding World super happy. You are not confined to just the limits of Hogwarts. You can go basically anywhere around the castle and the grounds and the villages surrounding and talk to people, buy things, trade with people, as well as duel some very nasty looking wizards. I think it's about a goblin uprising as well, which is pretty crazy. But seriously, as I said, the game looks absolutely beautiful. The gameplay looks super fun. I really enjoyed the visuals and the combat especially was a big concern for me in this game. And I think it looks amazing and it's going to be fantastic. If you haven't seen that video yet, check it out now. Let us know what you think down below. Next one, short but sweet, Dead Space. Everyone's favorite terrifying space game that features a slew of horrid, terrifying monsters and an atmosphere that would literally make me cry if I had to spend more than an hour in it. If you've never played Dead Space before, you're going to get the chance in 2023 as the team behind Dead Space have announced a complete remake. Fans of the series will be absolutely thrilled with this. The games are super popular and although terrifying, very, very fun to play. We'll keep you posted on this when we hear more. And in GTA news, GTA Online are now giving those who set up GTA Online on their PlayStation 5s a whole week free of PlayStation Plus. Let's go PlayStation, that's pretty great. So if you're not already a PlayStation Plus subscriber and you set up your account for GTA Online, you will be given a whole week of PlayStation Plus that you can use to play online, experience how everything works, as well as avail of the sweet free PlayStation Plus games for a whole week. That's pretty cool and a nice incentive to get people onto the platform. So good job, Rockstar. But if you are not a PlayStation Plus subscriber and you want to be and you don't really want to play GTA 5, you can head on over to cdkeys.com, our website, where we sell those memberships and they are very affordable and lovely and fantastic. So you go over and check out the PSN section today. And finally on our list of news, we have Elden Ring. The fact that it has shipped 12 million copies in its first few weeks of launch. That is absolutely crazy. And I'm sure that if you haven't played Elden Ring, you probably have heard people talk about it. The game is absolutely everywhere and it's everywhere for a reason. It is one of the best games I've ever played. And the reason I look so tired is because of that game. But seriously, what an absolutely massive feat for From Software. 12 million sales is actually incredible. And I cannot wait to see post-launch support for this game and what they're gonna do with it. I believe it was Shakira who said, the numbers don't lie. So if you haven't checked out that game and you wanna do it, you can also check that out on cdkeys.com as well. But everybody, that is all the news and releases we have to tell you about for this April. If you enjoyed the video, as I said, please do leave a like on it and let us know what you're most excited for down below. My name is Dan and or X2Shoes and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, much love, bye-bye.